You always remember your first hit record with great pleasure, and it comes in strange ways sometimes. It was Christmas Eve in uh, 1970, and I was just sitting bored witless at the studio, where I was assistant engineer, waiting for the boss to call up and say, you're on Christmas holidays now. And so I remembered always enjoying the noise that the air conditioning made in the violin mics when I started it up after a take, because it had to be turned down, otherwise we'd record more air conditioning than violin. It would make a sort of noise. And so I thought it's a good idea. Um, so I recorded it with about five or six expensive Neumann mics, probably about 10,000 pounds worth in the air conditioning cupboard. And I recorded it, and it was, it was very nice. It went and then it stayed up for a bit, and then I hit the remote stop which put a huge click on the tape, as usual, and it faded all the way down. And I heard church bells fading up as it was fading down. Of course, it was Christmas and it was coming down the air shaft. So I labelled it the West Uzbekistan Percussion Ensemble, put it away in the tape closet, and thought no more about it until mixing Fireball, which Martin Birch did, and Roger Glover was really the... Uh, the person in charge, or directing. And he said to Martin, what we need is the sound of a machine starting up at the beginning of Fireball. And Martin took a very big gulp and didn't quite know what to say, so I nudged him a little bit and said, yeah, I've got something nice here. And so my first hit record was actually um, Fireball, and my recording of the air conditioning starting up is the very first sound you hear on that, on that Deep Purple album. So then fast forward, away from Fireball, and the arrival of a very talented musician and pianist that I grew up with. We went to the same piano teacher, Don Airy, who took over from John Lord. And so, impossibly small world arrives, because of course he has to load up all his sounds at the beginning of every set, or by the beginning of every set. And so it went completely full circle. So now my friend from school, Don Airy, is loading up my recording of the air conditioning ahead of any Deep Purple gig that he plays in. <laughs> it did span a few years, that one.